Okay, let's try to simplify neuron lesions of the facial nerve, the upper versus lower motor neuron lesions of the face, facial nerve, okay? So let's see. So let's start over here, and let's talk about what's going on over here. So there's the upper motor neuron lesion. Let's first talk about the pathway of the nerves of the facial nerve. Let's zoom in here. So, we've ex so this is the brain over here, cross-section, and we have on each side over here, we have the motor cortex, okay? It's the motor cortex on each side of the f that's supplying the face. And it goes, the nerves go down, and it goes to the pons, because in the pons there's a nucleus for the facial nerve, it's all the, where they group together. Now I've exaggerated the nucleus, it's obviously not that big, but the point is that it's conceptually viewed as split into two halves. And the top half, this in yellow over here, has fibers that supply the upper face, and that's why the face is in yellow, because the top half of the nucleus is supplying the upper face. The lower half, in green, is supplying the lower half of the face, that's in green, okay? Now, if you take a look over here, the upper half of the nucleus, over here, the yellow, it receives innervation from both contralateral and ipsilateral motor cortex. So here's the ipsilateral motor cortex right here, and it goes down over here like this, and it goes to the upper half, as well as from the contralateral side, it does that as well, right here. It goes, and they go together, and then that's the upper motor neuron, and then there's a lower motor neuron that goes to the, that side of the face. As opposed to the lower half, the green, that's in green over here, only receives innervation from the contralateral side. That's really important. That's really going to, that's, that's the most important part of this video here. That's what it's going to tell us the difference between an upper motor neuron nerve lesion and a lower motor nerve lesion. Let's say you would take a knife, that's what we have over here, we take a knife and we'd slice it through right there, make a lesion right over there. Uh, anywhere before the nucleus from the motor cortex to the nucleus, okay? So which nerve is getting cut off? Well, we, what happens is that this is cut off, this is not going to be functional, but you still have this nerve supplying the upper half of the face, the one from the ipsilateral side supplying the upper half of the face, and therefore the upper half of the face is not going to be affected because you're still getting innervation from this side. What will be affected is this green lower motor neuron over here, and that's where you're going to have contralateral paralysis on this part of the face. Okay, The person won't be able to smile on this side of the face. They'll be able to smile on this side of the face. They'll be able to raise their eyebrows because, again, they'll have um, motor function on the on top of their face. They're going to have that. It's the bottom part of the face. Uh, on that side, that's going to be affected. This is known as a central facial palsy, a central facial palsy because it's the in the central nervous system where the, pal the, the palsy is happening. And it's, a, it's interesting that uh, it's counterintuitive that here we're going to mention the, the lower motor ner nerve lesion, which is known as a peripheral nerve palsy, which is actually worse than central. Why is it worse? Let's take a look. So here, what we have is the knife is going through in the lower motor neuron. This is the lower motor neuron, the knife is going through it. So here, everything that's innervating that side of the face is being cut off. Every part of the facial nerve to that side of the face is being cut off. And therefore, the person is going to experience not only the ability to smile on that side, the person can't lift that eyebrow, the person can't close the eye on that side. It's interesting note, to note that there's also a loss of taste sensation to the anterior tongue in the lower motor neuron leaf lesion. Okay, there's not so much of a mnemonic, more of a fun representation. All right, thank you for watching.